Customizable Timeline Toolbar. To customize Timeline Toolbar, open Customize Timeline Tools option from the Hamburger menu of Timeline. This opens a panel with toolbar buttons, which could be either added or removed from the Timeline Toolbar. Clicking anywhere outside the panel closes it. When the panel is open, buttons that are displayed on the Timeline Toolbar are selected in the panel. You can toggle button selection by clicking on buttons in the panel. Changes are immediately shown in the Timeline Toolbar. Timeline Toolbar has a few options which are grouped in a single button. You long press the button to reveal all options grouped in that button. For example, Insert Key Frame or Frame Group button has following four options grouped under it. 1. Keyframe 2. Blank Keyframe 3. Frame and 4. Auto Keyframe These options appear as a group button as well as individual buttons. If a group button is selected, individual buttons in that group are automatically unselected, and if any individual button in the group is selected, then group button is unselected. For example, currently the group button for Insert Frame Group is selected in the panel, and it is also visible in the toolbar. If you select any of the individual buttons in that group, for example, Insert Keyframe, then group button is expanded to selected individual buttons in that group. Two such groups exist in the configuration panel, one which we already saw for inserting keyframes or frames. The other group button, which could be expanded, is for inserting tweens. There are a few buttons in the configuration panel that are selected and unselected in pairs. For example, buttons to stop keyframes backward or forward, also buttons to step single frame back and forth are selected or unselected in pair. If you want to discard any changes you have done in the configuration panel and revert Timeline Toolbar to the default state, then click Reset Timeline Controls button.